The Kamehameha Wave in Volume 2 was epic. Master Roshi blew away an entire mountain that was on fire. And I'm not only going to talk about that, I'm also going to be summarizing Volume 2 as well as also telling you what I liked about this volume and what I would have changed. And I'll be redrawing the cover while doing it. So, let's get started. Volume 2 continues where we left off. Goku and the gang have met the big bad that is roaming around his house that's on top of a fiery mountain. And it turns out that he's actually a fellow disciple with Goku's grandfather, Gohan. They were both being taught by Master Roshi, the old man that Goku met in Volume 1. So after enlisting his help to put out the fire, which he does with the first ever giant Kamehameha wave, the gang retrieves the Dragon Ball and then goes off to find the next one where they meet Emperor Pilaf. Their henchmen steal their Dragon Balls and then imprison them. However, after Pilaf summons the dragon with Dragon Balls, his wish is interrupted and all of his plans fail. Now, after some time passes, Goku actually notices the full moon and because he has a tail, he turns into a full-fledged giant monkey. Inadvertently actually freeing every single one of them from their prison. And once all of that is resolved, Goku actually parts ways with Oolong, Yamcha, Boma, and Poir and goes off to train with Master Roshi. My favorite set of chapters in this volume would have to be when Goku and the gang had to fight the rabbit mob. These chapters were initially pretty fun and cool to read, but after Dragon Ball Z Abridged came out and Cell made fun of Trunks because he didn't even know that Goku sent a rabbit to the moon, <laughs> I thought it was really awesome and it's just one of my favorite scenes now. I, I love it. Now. I said this in my last video, but the nudity in the beginning of this book isn't necessarily something that I would have had. I definitely would have changed it and tried to have, you know, maybe suggest it maybe off camera if it needed to be there or whatever, but I wouldn't have shown it. Uh, you know, they, they basically, if you don't know, Oolong transforms into Bulma and as payment for destroying this gigantic mountain, Master Roshi wanted Bulma to flash him and basically she enlists Oolong, the shape-shifting pig, to do so. I thought it was funny, <laughs> but again, I can understand why a parent wouldn't, and that's the reason why I personally would have changed this or not necessarily had it in my book at all. Now, before I show you the end result, check this out. Shonen Manga's first black female lead character, Plot Striker. Created by Frederick L. Jones and illustrated by Asaka Galadina. Published by Saturday AM, printed through the Rockport Publishing by the Quartzo Group. Cast a physically disabled little girl genius who creates a mechanical mobile lab as a hand is finally recognized by the one and only female smith in the world, Miss Phenomena Clock. And now she is her apprentice, known as the Clock Striker. 224 black and white pages with some color, plus an ending credit scene hinting at more to come. So, if you want something brand new, something that represents what Saturday AM is all about, and you want to support us, buy a copy today using my affiliate link in the description. Volume 2! This image took a long time to get done. There was a ton of detail, but I had a really fun time drawing it all. What do you think? Is the creature that they're riding on a chocobo from Final Fantasy, or is it just some random dinosaur that Kira Toyama created? I think, personally, that he got super inspired by Final Fantasy. That, that's what I think. And before I end this video, I just want to thank everybody that is giving me any amount of financial support. Everybody, all of my patrons, thank you so much. I, I genuinely appreciate you all. For everyone that is a paying member, you will be able to see your name in the credits of every single video. You can use the link down in the description box below or you can go right here to my Patreon and that way you can see all the tiers that I have. I, I currently have a mentorship and I also uh, have a $5 tier where you get to see a lot of my old comic book work every month and some thumbnails and some other stuff like, you know, sneak peeks to videos and other stuff like that. It's pretty cool. $5, I mean, you know, it goes a long way. Anyway, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, uh, subscribe so you can see the next video in this series. There's so many guys, there's 42 in total, and I don't want you guys to miss them because, I mean, come on, I'm just saying. <laughs> this might get kind of old, but whatever. Booyah! Deuces! Tell at your age, Goku had defeated an entire army, several demons, and sent a rabbit to the moon. Did... Did you make that last one up? And